Hi everyone, in this video we will create a notification for shortlisted job applicants using ERP Next. Now before going into this problem statement, let's first understand what is doc type in ERP Next. Now ERP Next consists of different modules. We have HR module, we have CRM module, and then we have a selling module. So if, if I go into any of these modules, you can see that everything over here, that is lead, campaign, email campaign, these all are doc types. Likewise, in HR module also, we have employee leave allocation, leave application. So all of these are uh, doc types which are linked together internally. Now let me explain it to you with the flowchart. So consider this one of this as an HR module and this will be a CRM module and this are the selling module. So in HR module, we'll have different doc types. We'll have one, three or more doc types such as we have employee doc type and then we'll have a leave application doc type and designation doc type. So what's happening is that all of these doc types are linked together internally. Now I'll show you how they are linked. Let's first go into one of the doc type. Let's consider an employee doc type. Now individually each doc type is like a layout form. So wherein each form will have a different fields over here such as this you can see it is a select field and this is a data field over here. And this company, it is actually another doc type. So right now I was talking about doc types being linked together internally to each other. So this is what I meant when I said that. I mean, we have the company doc type over here, which is linked to the employee doc type. Now I'll show you how, let's go to the customize form. So here you can see the field type and everything. So you see company, company is linked company uh, is a type is linked and then it is linked to this doc type that is company doc type. So likewise we also have other field types such as data we have select we have link and attach image and also if we want to customize this form we can also add row and uh, add some more uh, form detail that if we want to depending upon the user. All right. Now let's go to our problem statement that is creating a notification. Now before that um, in ERP Next, HR manager or HR user, they'll be responsible for creating designation and department, and then they'll create a staffing plan, and then they'll create a job opening. Once a job opening is created, they'll be receiving applicants against those job opening. So what I'm trying to do is that once the job applicant is shortlisted or rejected by an HR manager or by HR user, I want the email to be triggered to the applicant regarding their applicant status. Let's go into job applicant and I'll explain it to you. So consider this as one of the job applicant. You can see the status is open over here. So once the status is changed from open to shortlisted or to rejected depending upon the performance of the applicant. So if the shortlisted then what I want is I want the email to be triggered at this particular email address saying that hello you have been shortlisted for the job opening, I'll go into job opening. Now job opening you see is linked to another doc type that is job opening doc type, you see. So I want to say in an email that hello, you have been shortlisted uh, for the role of a product manager profile. Now how do we do this? We have a notification list in ERP next. So from there we will create a new notification. Now we'll name the notification as shortlisted and then we'll add a subject that you have been shortlisted for the next round. Okay, and then we'll select the document type for which we are creating this notification. So right now I'm creating a notification for job applicant. So I'll select job applicant. And when do you want to send alert on? Do you want to send alert when you are creating a new job applicant or do you want to send alert when every time you're saving the changes in the job applicant? So when do you want to do that? Now I want to send the e notification on value change. So we have a value change over here options we get like if, uh, if we change the name or if we change the email, but right now we want to se send notification based on the status change. So I'll select status and I'll select the sender. Now sender is set using the email settings in ERP next. So, and we'll add a condition over here. That is when do I want to send an email? So when uh, each time dog dot status equal to equal to shortlisted. 
I'll be sending them uh, I'll be sending them a notification all right so and then we'll add a receiver email ID okay and then we'll add a message here so let's say hello I want to refer to applicant by the name so hello dog dot all right let me duplicate this and we'll see more about the field let's go to job applicant list and I'll go to customize all right so over here applicant name the name of the that particular field is this applicant name so I'll use dog dot applicant name to refer to an applicant by the name now what is this dog dog how I mean how is it working so right now we have selected document type as a job applicant so it will be referring to that one only right now all right and then we'll have we'll write a message saying that hello you have been selected for the next round for the role of so we'll set a variable to fetch value from another doc type so right now we want designation from this job opening doc, doc type we want designation so I'll write set des equals to frappe dot get doc and then we'll write the doc type name that is job opening and then I'll write doc dot job title so let me explain to you how this works now let's customize this go to customize and we can see the field type and field name so here the designation have the name as a designation over here and let's go to job applicant also job applicant and I'll go to customize so from job applicant doc type we are going into the job opening doc type so the name over here is job title so I'll write that's why I've written doc dot job title so doc is a current doc type that is applicant job applicant and then in job title is going into another one that is job opening all right so I'll write I'll write here you have been selected for the next round as and then I'll write the designation des dot I'll use des to reference it designation all right let's save it and no let's add something more the thanks all right so new notification has now been created now what I'll do is I'll go to the job applicant list and I'll shortlist this particular candidate shortlisted and I'll save it so now this this uh, at this email address the candidate should receive an email uh, that saying that they have been shortlisted I'll just show you that email so I got the email saying that you have been shortlisted so here is the applicant name that we have set using dot dot applicant name so hello you have been shortlisted selected for the next round as a product manager this is the designation that we fetched using frappe dot get doc so you see this is the this is the email ID this is the applicant name and in job opening product management we have this designation that product product manager which has been fetched properly now you should use the HTML in notification form to properly align all of this properly so I hope you understood how to create a notification using ERP next so likewise we created for shortlisted we, we can also create another notification for rejected candidate where whenever they are whenever the employ whenever the applicant status changes from open to rejected that so we can we can send them an email okay so I hope you understood this thank you so much for watching bye